guys Ogs here from the us thank you for watching today i am going to talk about victor moses remember him he is now at fenabache but i've been thinking about him lately and i think people or us as fan never appreciated what this guy did for the club victor was bought from wigan athletic he came to chelsea football club the same day as aspiliqueta that we call dev and they were under roberto di matteo same day and i was so happy i remember jumping all over because i really considered the guy at the time since there roberto di matteo was sacked not long after that benitez took over and victor moses never really had the chance he deserved at chelsea football club have been shipped on loan everywhere liverpool stock city west ham crystal palace you name it and now he's at fenerbahce for 18 month loan with an option to buy but the problem is fenerbahce just uh, told chelsea clearly that they don't have money to pay for victor moses wages it's too much for them and the club is going through a financial crisis on international level victor moses used to play for england uh, youth teams but for the senior he decided to go back to nigeria play for the super eagles unfortunately he took a break from them because what i heard they are too much going on in the nigerian uh, national team and moses is regretting for making the decision to go to nigeria so i don't want to get to politics here but my friend nigerians are telling me that there are so much going on in the national team and even tommy shouldn't make a decision to go there because it hell according to them but i'm not gonna judge them i'm just reporting what many people the majority are saying and i don't know really what is going on so what really happened to victor moses and what we should do as a club about him well i think victor was victim of the system that we've been running at the club for years firing coaches every single year and another coach come with another system and want his own players and all that Di Matteo had a very good plan for Victor. I remember playing him on uh, the wings sometime in the midfield. And uh, after he was gone, Benitez used him just a little bit in the midfield, sometime on the wing and all that. And then Mourinho came and Mourinho does what Mourinho do. Fire everybody, get his own players. And he went on loan and loan and loan. So there were no a plan to develop Victor. And he pretty much missed very important years in his development. But he's still a very good player. And I, I'm even impressed uh, that he made it that way. Because we know people like Piazon and baker that just ruined their career and you don't even know their position on the field because of the loan 
and uh, different coaches that they play under. I think Victor Moses so far been playing under maybe seven coaches on loan with Brendan Rogers and and Stoke and you know different different coaches, different systems, different positions, and it's very important. It's very difficult to even impossible for a player to focus on one position on the field we are lucky now that we have frank lampa who has a very good vision about the future of each player and it's not going to happen again at chelsea football club but for moses i don't see him coming back to chelsea chelsea will try to sell him somewhere or you know make some kind of swap deal with uh, i don't know inter since uh, conte uh, loves moses a lot and remember moses won us a lot of trophies his very first year at chelsea football club he won us europa league okay and when conte was there he was the beast you know playing as a wing back and everybody knows what he did he won us the premier league and fa cup so for me moses i don't care what you said for me he's a hero he's a chelsea legend he's just not vocal and many people tend not really to value him as a legend but if somebody can win you so many trophies he is a hero he might he might not be a very technical or spectacular player that you will wish to have at chelsea but one thing is certain victor moses will fight for the team he is somebody that you can take for a fight he will give everything on the field he's some uh he i can compare him with uh Makelele, somebody who lacks the uh often the 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 end product but he will fight the entire game and help us uh, other people to score even if he does score often or he doesn't score uh cross the balls often but he will fight defend and do anything in his ability to help the team so for me moses brother you are a legend at chelsea football club guys that is just my opinion you can give yours i'm not right but i'm not also wrong that is my opinion and i am entitled to it do you think Victor Moses should come and take Aspilicueta's place? Or do you think he should be playing for another team week in and week out? And it's going to be difficult for him to find a place at Chelsea Football Club. Personally, I don't see him as a right back. I see him as a wing back or a winger or a midfielder but you never know like i say he's a fighter he's a warrior and he can f- play from different position and still fight for the team let me know what do you think what we should do about him because he's coming back to the bridge and need, we need to find a solution for victor Thank you for watching and remember, always think outside the box.